Today, I want to give you a quick demonstration of the new Search Guard Flex Kibana multi-authentication feature. If you have used Search Guard before, you already know that in order to throw Kibana into the mix, you had to always keep three configuration files in mind. First of all, the Elasticsearch YAML configuration file, then the actual Search Guard configuration files for the security configuration, and then the Kibana YAML file to specify what authentication methods you would like to use with Kibana. With Search Guard Flex, we change that. So if you look at the Search Guard configuration for Search Guard Flex, you will see that we have a new YAML file called SearchGuard Frontend Authentication. YAML. This file is used to configure all the authentication and authorization aspects for Kibana. The settings are stored in the Search Guard configuration index, which means you can change them at runtime. Now there's also just one single place for configuring security for both Elasticsearch and Kibana, and this is the Search Guard security configuration. Now let's have a look at this file. At the moment, it only specifies that we want to use HTTP basic authentication for Kibana. So when we're accessing Kibana, you're greeted with a well-known search card login screen. And I can now choose a user which is stored in our internal user database, like our admin user, and log in. And you can see I'm logged in as the admin user. Now, what if we have several different authentication methods like OIDC or SAML, and we want to use them in combination with our internal user base or LDAP or Active Directory? In Search Guard Flex, this is possible. In order to add the option of logging in with OIDC as well, I'm just adding another section in my front-end authentication YAML file. Comment it out. And let's have a quick look. This video is not about how to configure OIDC, but as you can see, all the configuration settings that have been distributed between the Elasticsearch config file, the Search Guard configuration files, and the Kibana YAML file are now consolidated in this one single SG frontend authentication YAML file. So we're specifying our IDP, which in our case is a local keycloak instance that is running in the background. We are defining our client ID and the client secret that I've configured in the keycloak instance. And I also tell Search Guard Flex where to get the username and the roles from. Now, let's activate this configuration. So for this, I'm just issuing the Search Guard Control Update Config command so that Search Guard Flex reloads the Search Guard security configuration. And that is basically all I need to do to add OIDC to my Kibana login options. So if we go back to Kibana and just reload our login screen, you can now see that I have the OIDC login option available, which I can choose. And this takes me to my local keycloak instance, which I'm using as an IDP. Now let's try to look in. And as you can see, login has succeeded, and I'm now logged in as the user HR employee, which is configured in Keycloud as my IDP. That's it for this short video. Thank you very much, and goodbye.